hi hello everyone my name is Jupiter and welcome welcome to my corner of the internet today's video is hopefully going to be easy and fun for everyone I really wanted to make something um, but the big exciting video that I promised at the end of my last video is taking uh, way longer than I thought to put together so this is not what I was referencing when I made that comment um, but that video is just long and hard and it's so hard it's hard to find motivation to do it but it's coming and I'm excited about it but until then as something lighthearted and hopefully easy to put together I thought it'd be sh fun to just share a few songs from super new goo groups that I really love in hopes of spreading the word about it maybe you'll like these songs too uh, most of these groups are not groups that I keep up with super religiously or anything like that I tried not to pick anything from like my stands list because if you don't know for some reason like Pixie's one of my alts they are considered Nugu I didn't put a Pixie song on this list uh, these are just songs that I have found and I really love and wanted to share uh, as always everything I'm sharing is totally opinion based there's no hard feelings of a song you like is not on the list or a song you hate is on the list this is just for fun it's all personal opinion on that note, I really would love if you would share some of your favorite Nugu songs, especially if you think they've got a good summery sound. We're in the thick of summer right now, and there's just certain songs that sound better in hot weather. I would love to hear them. So, with that said, let's rock and roll to some of my recommendations given in no particular order. Kiss of Life. Uh, this song is the newest release that you'll find on this list, and it's here because it's just been stuck in my head all of the time, and I need other people to be on that boat with me. Kiss of Life, from what I can tell, seems to have a decent amount of interest surrounding their debut, and I'm really pleased with that considering that I really enjoyed the mini album. Um, I didn't know anything about them going into it, but the song blew me away. I love this ridiculous high note ad libs that they've got in the end. Their vocal harmonies are layered just throughout the song. There's this consistent clicking sound, almost like a tongue clicking into the beat, and it's kind of weird, but it definitely grew on me. And I love that the bass percussion just sounds so different from other things I've been listening to recently. It's polished and playful. This song just oozes confidence. And because of that, watching stages of this song has been very fun. If you haven't been in the know yet, I really recommend Kiss of Life if you are looking for something new and fresh and you wanted to get into the ground floor of something. Ratatat Beauty Box. Ratatat, I think, is a perfect summer song for its sweet and catchy hook. This song really asks you to just get up and dance with it. That boom, boom, ba boom. It's really addicting, and I love the percussive framing of that part of the song with this like little tiny explosion, like right as it ends, because everything holds off, and then you go through that line, and then it just kicks in at the end of it. It's sweet, and it hits the spot every single time for me. This song also has an English version, if that's something that interests you, which I, I also think that's very cool because it's coming from a Nugu group, which usually doesn't emphasize things like that. High key, ring the alarm. Cool and clean, ring the alarm will just confidently swagger into my thoughts when I did not ask it to be there. The hook of the song will loop in my head infinitely, begging me to listen to the song again, and then when I do, the cycle is totally started over. It's got a simple bass to the song, and it's accessorized with record scratches, bubble pops, and whistle, all started off by an alarm going off. 
I didn't realize high key was popular enough to have members go on Queendom, but I'm glad they are. I don't know if that pushes them out of the Nugu stage or not. But this mini album really caught my attention after me casually checking in on them. And I hope that they consistently bring titles as good as Rose Blossom to the table, followed by B-sides as polished as Ring the Alarm. Call My Name, Fairy Blue. This is a weird song, and I know it's a weird song. I know that this song is not everyone's cup of tea. There's the frequent key changes, beat changes, and then they'll just kind of drop you into the next section and then build you up once more before you are even allowed access to the chorus. But I think it all works. It holds on to all the original pieces it used and then weaves them together, and instead of dropping you into a new rhythm just for shock value, it fits them all together into this electrically charged puzzle with a flute line woven into it. And their voices just sound good in this song. The bridge feels well deserved after its runtime, and the song trusts itself to end in its own time instead of rushing its way through the pop structure and calling it a day. It's a weird song, but I stand by it. I-O-Y-S-B, Artbeat. I Love You So Bad is this fun little synth moment really calling back to a disco sound. It's funky and fast paced. It's really riding over a snare and guitar beat. I like this auto-tuned glaze that is over their voices and when they sing in unison and then it's followed by a high and almost ghostly ooh, like over the track. That was into the unknown. That was not what I meant, but Anyway, it's a great song to dance to. When I was picking out songs to talk about, I almost forgot that this song isn't the title track for this album. They just hit a gem like this into the B-sides of an album. Human. This song is a pure shock of bubblegum in all of the best ways possible. I love its sparkly sugar spun sound, complete with a simple and catchy chorus that just gets stuck in your head. This song is strawberry soda, pink and bubbly. I don't have a good way to articulate this song and why I'm so hooked on it, but I have been hooked on it since it came out and it's just cute as cute can be and I really love that. We gave it a taste to the yum yum. Mmm, 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 when you're watching and it just hooks you on the way out. It tells you explicitly that that's what it's doing. They blow kisses in the middle of the song and the delivery of mmm, mmm is very rhythmic and really stays with me. It's bouncy and confident and I think it's a really excellent sing-along song if you can keep up with its cadence. Queen's Eye also just made a comeback recently, so the song has a different energy on normal. It's more of an R&B sound, different energy, but definitely worth, worth your time. I will say if you're only going to do one, Yummy Yummy is my preference. It's so much fun. Boyfriend, signature. 
Signature's Boyfriend was one of my top songs in 2021. It's really up there on the pedestal with Moonbeal's Shutdown, Twice as the Feels. Compared to the bombasticness of a lot of K-pop title tracks, this song feels toned down, almost mellow. It's sentimental and bittersweet over this thrumming bass line. The notes that sigh upwards in between lines and the verses just breathe so much life into the song, as well as the sudden decrescendo after the bridge. It really shows off their voices. The song has a very empty quality to it, so you can hear how well they sing. There is something addictive in this song I cannot put down, and I will listen to it over and over again. And that is all I have for you today. So stay poppin', my fellow K-pops and cosmic bodies, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!